Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT University. I want to talk for to learn all the technologies. At this time, we are talking about HDPCD practice exam, and we are in the final task. And the final task is about scoop export. So first, what they are asking is to create a directory named user hotworks weather and copy and the file sfo underscore weather dot csv into uh, that location, and then. <coughs> there is a MySQL database named flight info on the name node machine. So it contains a table named weather with the following schema. And uh, we, ha we have to use scoop to export the weather directory in HDFS to the weather table in MySQL on port 3306 on the name node machine. The username for MySQL is root and the password is Hadoop. Okay. So it's pretty straightforward. You need not to store any uh, the, the script in any of the files. You just have to run the scoop export command. But before that, we have to make sure we create this directory called user hotworks weather. So I am using this session. Exit Hadoop FS MKDAR. It should be user hot and weather. It's not hot and works weather. There is a error in it. Let let us see. How do fs minus ls slash user and hit enter. So there is only hot and not hot and works. I think it was a typo. So just do how do fs mk dir and paste it and remove the works because the Horton will not have permissions to create Horton works directory okay you, but to there is another way if Horton have the sudo permission let me see if he has sudo minus u hdfs i am not sure the whether uh, this have the permission you can say minus p so that if the directory does not exist it will try to create in the entire um, in the entire uh, structure so hotten password is hadoop yeah hotten is not in the sudo file so you cannot actually run it so we will just run hadoop fs mkdir and delete works in this because uh, it's not correct directory name and hit enter now the directory being created you have to copy hadoop fs minus put this file hot on again this should be hot on not hot on works okay i don't think you will get this type of errors in the actual certification exam um, but uh, in the practice exam the question seems to be a little bit incorrect if you find similar issues in the certification, you have to reach out to them, pointing the issues, and uh, you have to fight for uh, fight for it that there were mistakes in the exam. User Horton weather. This is the directory where we want to create the file sf underscore dot csv. Okay, now the file is copied, and we have to export into the table um, flight info okay so here scoop export and uh, you can use this backslash to write the script in multiple lines so first we have to say connect and we have to use jdbc mysql colon slash slash And here, the host name on which the MySQL is running is the name node. So you have to use name node column 3306 as the port number, and the database name is what is the database name? Flight info. Okay, double quote and uh, go to the next line username 
is root ah i should not use that so let me copy one line at a time and the username root and password hadoop and what is the table name table name is weather table weather and then if you don't remember the syntax they will give in the documentation you have to go through the documentation um, because you will have access to scoop documentation flume documentation pig and hive documentation so you can use those things but in this case i remember so i am directly using this and then we have to export from this directory export dl is the parameter to specify the directory name of the hdfs location and this is the directory which we want to copy the data from okay and the data is already comma separated so you don't need to specify delimiter but if they do not specify the uh, if they specify some other delimiter than the default which is comma then you have to say input fields terminated by and then you can run the export command in this case i am just using like this i am not specifying input fields terminated by but in case if they give some other delimiter than comma you have to specify like this input fields terminated by and you can give the comma in single quotes like this but in this case i am not using this because the they have given the delimiter as comma itself which is default in scoop and then hit enter and then it will start running the scoop export command it uses uh, this jdbc url username and password for the mysql database and this is the table in the mysql database and this is the export directory in hdfs from which data will be copied into the mysql table using the jdbc details now everything is exported you can see there are 366 records that are exported if you want to validate so you can do scoop eval or you can also connect to the mysql database on name node and get the results so this is how you can actually run the eval command eval query select star from weather and hit enter it will connect to the mysql database okay i have to give the username and password so let me go back to the previous command because we need to have the username password everything except for the table and export directory so eval and then i am deleting all this uh, table and export directory and uh, here i am giving query select star from weather and hit enter now it will connect to the source database and run the query and it will show the results 
and also if you want you can actually say mysql minus u root minus p minus h the host name is name node and hit enter the password is hadoop hit enter you are connected to the database okay and here you can say use flight info because that is the table name sorry that is the database under which you they have created the table weather use flight info and then show tables select star from weather like this you can review the results to make sure that our scoop export is executed successfully okay so this is how you can actually um, run the commands and also validate to make sure that everything uh, executed successfully so that being said we have successfully completed all the 10 tasks okay and we have created all the solutions uh, here so let me delete these log files because they are not required and then you can see the files we have created first uh, first one they didn't ask to create any file second one also they didn't ask any file sorry second one they have asked they have asked us to create a file called flight delays underscore clean dot pig and this is the script and then third also it's, it will be better if you have time to make sure that you have the right script here okay i am not going to validate everything but you should validate and for the third question you have to create three dot pig files clean total denver total and denver late clean total denver total and denver late and then for fourth question you don't need to create any script fifth question you have to create flight delays non zero dot pig so though i have created that and the next one i have to create we have to create flight delays dot hive which is created here and next one no script this one you have to create flights weather dot hive which is created here and then weather parts dot hive to create the parts table which is created here and the final one for scoop export you just have to export the data you don't have to create any script okay so we have successfully executed all the tasks in the certification that being said i hope you are enjoying the content on the channel if you like this video please click on the like button and i feel that the practice exam that is executed will give you some confidence in preparing for the certification and what you can expect from the certification perspective questions might be tougher than this or easier than this but as long as you practice pig hive scoop and flu um, as per the published curriculum you should be able to clear the exam in flying colors okay if you want to discuss further about uh, certifications or big data please join my linkedin groups called itversity hyphen certifications or itversity hyphen big data and finally if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this over time thank you bye